Think of the craziest looking person, dressed in the craziest clothes, in the strangest of places, with the most bizarre beings surrounding them. I have these images in my head. It's about depicting something that's sort of impossible to see in everyday life, or impossible for someone to photograph. It's representing in a realistic way something that only exists in our imagination. We're illustrating the ideas behind basic human conflicts and struggles. All the great artists of antiquity have been called upon to render scenes that are based on mythology and imagination, but done in a realistic manner which can be appreciated by everyone. It's all around us. It's all part of a, of a chain. It's all a fabric that's woven together through time. We all stand on the shoulders of those people before us. And I don't really quite see the fantasy market as being anything different than what painters have been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years. Contemporary illustrators take after what a lot of the old masters were doing, you know, hundreds of years ago. I mean, what, what, what could be more fantastic than the hand of God reaching down to Adam? The art of the fantastic is much more recognizable in a way than Van Gogh at times, or even some of the great uh, old masters. It is something that is now part of our living daily culture and consciousness. Stripping away the artistic intent, what you're left with is, does this image communicate the stories that are relevant to our stories? And I think that's what makes a great work of art.